Morning guys, it's Dan from Xservice here. I thought I'd kick off the day uh, just doing a quick video which demonstrates uh, a brute force attack on WinRM against Server 2019. I'm just going to show the red team perspective on this one while I still figure out uh, the way to record, format the videos and I'm still producing content. So let's log in to our Kali attacker machine. We're going to launch MSF console. For the purpose of this video, we're going to assume that we already know our target. We're going to use the search command to search for WinRM to find Windows Remote Management modules. Uh, to start with, we're just going to determine the authentication mechanism. So we're going to use the AUX scanner WinRM auth methods module we're going to look at show options here we can see we need to set the domain and we need to set our hosts so the domain's xlab our hosts we're going to put in the ip address of our target and we're going to type run here we go, we can see that uh, Negotiate and Kerberos are supported. We're going to go back to our modules. Now, we aren't able to uh, execute the attacks we would like to um, from MSF because there's a problem with OpenSSL uh, and Server 2016 onwards, to my knowledge. We can, however, use the WinRM login module which we're going to do to try and get ourselves access to this box using a brute force attack. So we're going to show options. We're going to set the domain again. We're going to set a user file. Now I've already created a word list for two accounts that I know are active in the domain and I've already set up a password file with a, with a password which I know will work against one of these accounts. So it's load user.txt. Set the password file. Again, I created the text file. Let's just check our options. So we need to set our hosts. Then we're going to run the attack. And you can see here that there is a number of unsuccessful attempts against Adam Jensen and the administrator account. But eventually we get a successful logon. Uh, against XLab Administrator with a password of PA55W0RD1, super secure. Don't use that anywhere uh, other than in labs and training videos. Now we've got this module, I just want to demonstrate that we, uh, sorry, the credentials, I'm just going to demonstrate that we uh, can't use the command module. So if we do a search, you're going to see here the module name. We're going to use winrm underscore command. We're going to look at its options. We're going to set the main. We're going to set the username. We're going to set the password. And we're going to execute the attack. Oh. Make sure our host is set. And we're going to execute the attack. So here we get an HTTP 500 error. Uh, this is um, an issue with the SSL configuration in Metasploit when attacking this target.
what I've got here is I've uh, got a Ruby extension. Uh, we've installed a few gems and we will now be able to win RM using these libraries. So we're going to use the WinRM shell credentials. I'm just going to show everyone what's in that. You can see here that we've specified an endpoint with HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.2.7 uh, on port 5985 uh, against WS man service. We're using administrator and our super secret password. We're going to do win, win rm underscore shell underscore thread at Ruby launch that attack and you can see that we have regained a remote session to, to DC2 with the administrator account. We are now free to execute PowerShell commandlets and we can do stuff like who am I uh, to see the user and again hostname to, to prove it's the right target. And there we have it. So in a very few minutes, we've uh, taken an out-of-the-box server 2019 domain join box, and we've attacked it using a brute force attack. And we've demonstrated that we can get a remote shell from a Kali box. Cool. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue producing uh, the content, uh, both from a video point of view and the documented guidance. I'm probably going to release in sections because as I started developing this, the project is growing considerably. So I think I'll release uh, this as a series of blog posts. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.